This poem is by Denise Libertov. Yes. She was actually an amazing woman, self-taught, and a true natural intellectual, I think. This poem by Denise Levertov is called Making Peace. A voice from the dark called out, the poets must give us imagination of peace to oust the intense, familiar imagination of disaster. Peace, not only the absence of war, but peace, like a poem, is not there ahead of itself. Can't be imagined before it is made. Can't be known except in the words of its making. Grammar of justice, syntax of mutual aid. A feeling toward it, dimly sensing a rhythm is all we have until we begin to utter its metaphors, learning them as we speak. A line of peace might appear if we restructured the sentence our lives are making, revoked its reaffirmation of profit and power, questioned our needs, allowed long pauses long pauses a cadence of peace might balance its weight on that different fulcrum peace a presence an energy field more intense than war might pulse then stanza by stanza into the world. Each act of living one of its words, each word a vibration of light, facets of the forming crystal. So in response to Denise Levertov's um, theme of peace, I wrote a poem called Howl for Peace. And I hope that you will howl, but if you, if you don't, that's okay too. So, this, yes, thank you. So Howl for Peace. Howl for Peace. We need it, see? The word peace sounds simple, but it's the hardest to achieve. Peace needs courage to howl against the gun, throw open the borders, sing migrants, sing refugees. Make of this circling planet a place for peace. Howl for our home in the sun. Gotten words. 
tears let in boil guard them if you must but we will start the remembered works bring back the old ways of trade and craft we will 